It seems like Comcast is the big bid. It's a lot of money. I don't know if Rupert Murdoch comes with the deal, like you get him when you come in, but um, I think probably Comcast is a pretty strong bid here, and it'll be tough for Disney to, to compete with it in terms of money and, and power to do it. That said, um, Rupert Murdoch is the one who benefits here most of all. I mean, essentially, people are bidding to make him richer than ever. So. That's right, and that bid is a huge premium, yeah. not just in the 20%, but all cash, because don't forget why Fox is selling. It's because it doesn't like the future. Now you're rinsed of any responsibility for the future. You take the cash, you're done. So it is a yeah. huge premium. I assume Disney has a tough time matching that. Yeah, because he'd have to own pieces of Disney. That's what he would own is Disney. And that if he wants to stay in the entertainment business. But I think you take all that money and he's focused on his TV station and, and Fox News and things like that. Yeah, and the other thing that's very interesting here is the bet that Murdoch is making is exactly strategically the right bet about the future of television and media, which is if you look at what will sustain itself in linear television, it is news and sports. It's what's happening now, turn it on, fill me in. For everything else, anything that can be watched after the fact, the Netflix model and direct-to-consumer is vastly better. So he is just shedding the stuff that is in trouble. And if you're Disney, you can, through scale, maybe wring more out of it. But strategically, this is a great move. And you mentioned Netflix. I mean, Kara, yeah. Netflix is trading at record highs today. Amazon well, is trading at record highs today as well. Uh, we had Jim Chanos on our air yesterday who mentioned that these are, or argued that these are defensive mergers. Mm -hmm. Are they defensive mergers? Well, and if again, so, is this going to actually address the fundamental change in the media landscape? They still don't own the distribution of the future. That's the one part, is that they yeah. own cable, but you have to really get into digital heavily. Um, and, you know, the, the reason Netflix is up is it could be bought, right? It could be a, a target, not, and not necessarily a It's so huge it's so now. Huge, but these are, these are big companies. And so you wonder, what will Google buy? Could Google or Apple ever buy Disney? I've talked about this years We've ago. We've been talking about it years, for yeah, years, forever. Years. And so, you start to think about this and, and who would buy who and who would own who. And as because we talk about this, are they media companies? They're all media companies and they're all tech companies. And so you have to think about it that way. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.